They lined up at Caddo Lake to get a Jurassic peak and Carolyn Edwards had a front row seat. We want to be educated on how they're going to release him. Are they going to dump him from a truck? So these are uh, fish that were raised at the uh, Federal Fish Hatchery in Natchitoches, Louisiana, and they've got about a thousand fish for us today. But not just any fish. These are paddlefish, once native to Caddo Lake. The species dates back 350 million years, making them older than dinosaurs. There were six species of paddlefish around the world, we can tell from the fossil record. This is the only one that survives. Laura Ashley Overdyke is executive director of the Caddo Institute, the nonprofit's mission to protect Caddo Lake. This is a prehistoric fish, and to be able to see a living dinosaur, absolutely beautiful. That rostrum, about a third of its body size, and underneath it can sense where its food is in the water, which is just kind of plankton, then it'll filter it through its gills and can get to be seven feet long and 200 pounds. The Caddo Institute is the driving force behind the stockings. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife and Texas Parks and Wildlife Departments oversee the project. This stocking marks the halfway point in a 10-year strategy to bring paddlefish back. Each fish is tagged for tracking. The reason they want to tag these is to know were these fish we released or are these fish that have been born naturally here in the lake itself? Paddlefish once thrived in Caddo Lake but disappeared. Why? Habitat change. Caddo Lake once had a gravelly bottom where paddlefish could spawn, but construction of Lake of the Pines in the 50s changed the river flow on Big Cypress Bayou. The gravelly bottom disappeared, then the paddlefish disappeared. That's why this program means so much is really fun and then to see them go back to a place where they once were and where they belong to be able to restore them it's really wonderful. It's why Shanetta Brown who runs a nonprofit urban garden came to see this living piece of history. So it's very important to act now in preserving things that have been around for the longest time in a changing environment. They say every great story has a comeback and the story of paddlefish in Caddo Lake is just getting started. That's the ultimate success is when we get to the point where we have enough adult paddlefish in the system to where they're reproducing and uh, self-sustaining their own population.